Hi, I'm Dr. Greg, and welcome back to uh, part four of our series, How to Become a Dentist. In this uh, episode, we're going to talk about choosing a dental school. And um, this one's going to be quick because it's going to be hard for me to tell you exactly what schools uh, you should be looking for. It's going to depend on what's interested to you. Uh, my best advice for you on how to choose a dental school would be uh, to ask really good questions. And the kind of questions you want to ask would be, uh, you know, are there any specialty programs? Because uh, dental school is long, uh, but four years will go by, and you want to have an option possibly of going into a specialty program. And it's much easier to already be in that school that offers a specialty program that you can just roll right into possibly. So. Uh, so that's a good question. So that's a very proactive question to ask. Uh, you also want to know, uh, you know, what the class size is and the faculty to student ratio. Uh, for instance, when I was in dental school, there were certain full-time uh, faculty, but when you got into the clinic, there was a lot more faculty available to help in the clinic so that you had more of a one-on-one -on -one situation with maybe a clinical instructor, uh, which worked out really nice. So, uh, so it's good to get an idea of what the faculty to student ratio is. You should ask those kind of questions. Um, uh, you also should uh, uh, know uh, how, how the clinic is run. Uh, because in dental school you have your dental classes, say uh, dental anatomy and physiology and pharmacology where you may go just as a class in a classroom setting and then particularly your third and fourth year dental school, you're in the clinic actually treating patients and uh, improving your skill uh, as a dentist on your patients. And it's good to get an idea of what that's like and also to know what kind of technology is in the clinics. For instance, today uh, x-rays are now digital x-rays, whereas when I was in school, they were regular dental x-rays. And um, I would think that you would want to go to school that's on the cutting edge of using some of the technology that you would use when you get out into regular dental practice. So, uh, so you want to know what kind of technology the school has, what kind of funding they have for research. It's really great to know that your school has funding for research. It just makes your school more credible and more relevant and uh, gives the school a bigger name uh, if that's important to you. Uh, also. Um, I think you should ask questions of dentists who may have gone to that particular school. Or if you can, visit the school and talk to the dental students. For instance, when I was a senior in undergraduate college, I had a friend who was actually in dental school. And I actually asked if I could come to one of his classes. And so I spent the whole day there and I got a really good idea of what the uh, class would be like and what dental school might be like even though I only spent one day there. And so I really recommend that. Um, but you really want to choose a school that you have really done your homework. There are, uh, you know, many dental schools out there so you may want to choose one that's closer to home. Um, there's not a tremendous social life so whether you're in a climate that's cold or hot, you know, tropical or urban um, may not matter so much. but. I do think that uh, for your clinical experience, you may want to also consider uh, where the patients come from. For instance, I went to a dental school in an urban community and they had large numbers of patients from the community come to that dental school where we could actually see a variety of different case types. So you may want to consider, uh, you know, what is the actual clinical experience. If you want to have a real uh, varied clinical experience, you probably want to consider a dental school that's in a city, say like New York or Philadelphia or somewhere in California or Chicago. Uh, the bigger cities will be able to pull more patients into the dental school for you to get your experience on. So uh, again, how to choose a dental school is going to be very personal to you. I would recommend you also go on, online uh, where there's a tremendous wealth of information uh, for you to get ideas on how to choose the dental school that's right for you. And uh, you may want to choose more than one, uh, but uh, the bottom line is for you to have a good idea of where you want to be as far as spending four years in a challenging program on what dental school is right for you. All right, so thanks for joining, and we'll see you uh, on part